Let's look at the titration curve of a weak base with a strong acid. In this case, the reaction will be driven by the reaction of a base with a strong acid to form water. The formation of water is favored, so this reaction lies far towards products, and basically every mole of acid you have will consume a mole of your weak base. As you titrate, the shape of the curve will be high pH to start, because we're starting with a base solution, and going towards low pH, because you're producing an acid solution. So let's look at the various points along this curve. The equivalence point, or end point, is where I've added a mole of strong acid for every mole of base that I originally had. And I can look at the points along the curve. Initially, I have just a solution of the weak base, and I can calculate the pH there. In this region, the buffer region, I have about equal concentrations of the base and its conjugate acid. So about equal concentrations of an acid and its conjugate base gives you a buffer. It resists change in pH. When I get to point the equivalence point here, now I've converted all my base to the conjugate acid. I've added a mole of strong acid for every mole of base that I originally had, converting it all to its conjugate base. So you have a solution here of a conjugate acid. You can calculate the pH of a solution of a weak acid. As you can continue out, the pH will start to be dominated by the fact that you're just adding strong acid. So these are the regions of the titration curve for a weak base by a strong acid.